Hi, my name is Dr. Ruben. I'm a board certified allergist. I'm going to explain to you what is most likely occurring in this video and some related conditions to it. If you want to learn more about your health, please hit that follow button. If you are exercising and developing an itching or prickly sensation throughout your body with no rash, especially if you are new to exercise or coming back to it, then you may have something called runner's itch. We don't know exactly why this occurs, but what is most likely happening is, is that as your heart rate is going up and feeding oxygen to your tissues, the blood vessels are expanding, especially these ones that are small called capillaries, and they may be rubbing up against some of the sensory nerve fibers that are at the surface of your skin, causing that itch sensation. If you stop exercising, usually these symptoms go away on their own without any medications. Some people may need to take an oral antihistamine to help with this or take a bath in order to help alleviate some of these symptoms. Having a slow warm up and wearing compression stockings may help reduce the chances of this happening. And as you get more and more into exercising, this may go away on its own as you continue to work out. However, if you're exercising and develop a rash that looks like little tiny red bumps or little welts, that may be something called cholinergic urticaria. That is a type of chronic hives that's in response to exercise, elevated body temperature, hot showers, and even stress. In these cases, you may also have a little bit of swelling as well, and this is usually treated with oral antihistamines. However, if you're not only developing hives while exercising, but other symptoms such as problems breathing, vomiting, or passing out, then you may have something called exercise-induced anaphylaxis, which may be triggered by the exercise itself or in conjunction with food and then exercising. We call that food-dependent exercise-induced anaphylaxis, and you need to hold on to an epinephrine auto-injector because that is the first line of treatment for a severe allergic reaction. So yes, you could actually be allergic to exercise in many different ways.